thank you very much. Um, my name is Sammy. Um, that's Olivier. <laughs> Doesn't work. Hi everyone, it's nice to be here. I'm the programmer at Benziger Hack and Samuel is the graphic designer and we would like to show you our studio and some projects that we did which are also related to typography we hope. Yeah, we split our um, presentation in uh, three parts. So the first part will be uh, some we are, the second part we do, and of course the third part we think. So um, let's start with the first part. Um, Benzig Hoog is a Swiss based uh, design web studio. Uh, it was established in 2012 by both of us. Uh, we're working in all areas of print and interactive design. Uh, we design books, uh, exhibition publications, identities and websites for cultural institutions, businesses and individuals, um, mostly in an architectural or uh, art context. Um, as Oliver said before, I'm the graphic designer, he's the programmer, so we have these uh, two things, <laughs> like print versus digital. Um, we wrote down this, this uh, short sentence, so print is uh, an existing for several hundred years, uh, while the digital medium is relatively young, although uh, digital is very fast moving medium in compression to print. We try to make it more persistent through concept from the print environment, such as a strong focus on typography and functional user experience. So we are Swiss people, <laughs> we have a strong root in Switzerland, when we work like Swiss people uh, are uh, perceived to do. Uh, however, we don't think that Swissness is still existing as uh, prominently as it was before. Nevertheless, we apply a minimalistic approach to the whole range of different projects. Um, we did a small movie about our studio. when you have an IT guy. <laughs>
first time that we have a presentation like this, but um, I think it's, it's the first time in Russia and there are some problems. But let's start with the projects. So the second, second part, as I said before, is uh, we do, we will present um, a book, a website, a book, a website, a book, a website, a magazine, a website, a book, a website, a book, and a website. So um, let's start with the first book. Uh, it's called uh, Typical Plan. Um, this book was published by Park Books. Um, Park Books is a European publishing house for architecture and related fields and uh, international platform for architectural book projects. Um, it's a book about office design with a lot of, uh, of different materials like plans and images mostly from a, a historical point of view um, and we had to deal with all the different materials and, and had to test how, how to print um, these, these plans exactly because they are very thin and um, we had to deal with different texts and, and a, lot of, a lot of things. And then 2013, um, it was awarded as one of the most beautiful Swiss books. For us, it's a, it's the best thing you can you can have in Switzerland as a book designer. And most of the book is um, printed in black and white. There's also a, 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 a graphic uh, essay as a comic about the search of flexibility. So the book is um, about projects and essays on the identity, flexibility and atmosphere in the office building. Um, after this short movie I will show some details of the book. Um, the title image of the publication is uh, photography created in the Natural History uh, Museum in Paris. Uh, it represents the reference of the author's studies the, to precisely the structures of the internal. This exposure of the structure is also the basis of our design concept. Um, the clear structure in four parts is already clear on the jacket. And here you can see uh, details of the of the side of the of the spread with the with the plants. Um, some essays, the comic that I told you before. And the uh, table of count. Uh, sorry, the the color phone. Um, that's the one of our favorite book we we did uh, in 2013. Here's the the back cover with this structure. Uh, yes. Let's go to the next project. That's uh, Olivier's part. It's a, it's a website. Thank you, Samuel. So that's a website we recently published for young architects from the same city that we are. So they were in need of a new identity because they took over the uh, architectural office from oh, one part at least from its parents. So what I will show you is the website and the website is uh, just one part of it. And what we use, or the, or what is a part of the concept, is uh, the typography by Radim Pesco, it's the Ajipo, and what it is, is it squeezes in the contents in the center between the top and the bottom, 
And what we then is we used some special animations, so transitions, what you see here is like a preview of each project. And then when you click on it, you come into the project and you still have a double slider. And then if you're more interested, you can also navigate and see like the details of the project. And what we like to do is usually to have responsive website. So when you reduce it, you will then have just a single slider with the same things. We have other things on this website, like a journal, of course, because they wanted to have a blog, blog-like behavior, and we have a project. And we always try to understand the client, what he wants, but we also try to bring out the best, so it also fits our purposes. So I would like to pass back the ball to someone. Um, the next book or brochure or whatever I will present is uh, called Das Fremde ist nur in der Fremde fremd. This book was uh, published by Edition Patrick Frey. Uh, they focuses mainly on photography, art and projects dealing with the everyday and popular culture. Um, it's a brochure with a knot binding. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult, but uh, I think uh, after the presentation you can have a look on it. Uh, this publication was published on the occasion of the exhibition Gastspiel uh, at the Museum Riedberg. Um, the Museum Riedberg is a, is a non-European art museum based in Zurich. Uh, they invited 21 contemporary artists. These contemporary artistic positions in the form of uh, site-specific uh, installations and performative actions sounds out the museum as an institution. Uh, its collection and ideas underlining it. Here you, can, you can see the, the knot binding in the middle of the, of the book. It's a very expensive production because they have to do it by hand. They have to bind um, each, each uh, brochure. Side, you can see the book uh, without the, the shrink wrapping and on the left side with the shrink wrapping and this uh, image on it. So if you uh, pull off the, the plastic you will have a, a, blank, a blank book. Um, every artist did an insert for this publication. So at the beginning and on the end you can find all of these inserts and uh, each artwork in the exhibition is described by two different kind of texts. The first from the perspective of a cont contemporary journalist and the second from the historical point of view by the museum. Uh, the typography is based on this situation. As you can see we aligned um, one text on the left and uh, the other one on the right side. Here the, the thing, uh, thing uh, for the table of content. So it, it looks a bit weird, but uh, it's a concept. <laughs> um, then as the next part you can find photography from each artwork in the exhibition and in the center um, there's the heart of this book, a dialogue out of a movie describing the theme of the exhibition. So uh, this book is built like uh, layers of an onion. And let's go to the next uh, website. 
So that's actually the website for our studio friends, which you saw before. So we share our studio with two young architects from St. Gallen, and we also did the website for them. And now it's only the responsive part. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's working. Uh, so they are working in a very referential style. So on top you see an image. Uh, from which they start each project and afterwards uh, below you will then see stripes and with an introductional text and then with some images so what you can do is you can click on an image and it will navigate you to the corresponding project and what you see before we also um, created a responsive version so that you can also use it in a more simple way on an iPad or an iPhone. Then the, the next book, it goes on and on and on. Um, it's the first uh, book published by Jungle Books. Uh, Jungle Books uh, runs by us and uh, another Swiss-based um, graphic design studio called uh, Caspar Fluvio. Every channel book project develops a new story, engaging with the artist's personal expression of their understanding of printed matter and opening up a dialogue between questions of content and form. Uh, as I said before, that's the first publication published by us. Um, it's an exhibition catalogue for a um, an exhibition in Zurich. And in the next few months we will uh, publish uh, two other books about um, uh, Swiss-based uh, artists. is to reflect on the process of uh, upvaluing the value of a work of art is exponentially increased through documentation for exhibition catalogues to media coverage to visitor reviews. The process of upvaluing creation is playful, playfully questioned and at the same time uh, exemplified through the graphic design of this publication. And there are a lot of repetitions. Um, we think you can increase the value through repetition, so we also repeated uh, the images, which makes uh, the first view not so much sense, but I think with the, together with the exhibition it, it, it makes uh, more than sense to, uh, to double them. So it's a, it's a bilingual uh, German and English uh, published book by us. Um, to the next website. So the next website is for Rome-based architects and one of our favorite websites. We hope it works on this screen. So actually we talked to them and we then found out that they are working in a that they are also working in a very um, scientific way 
And what we then did is, as a concept, um, we used it in a kind of a way as a book. So you have the chapters on the left side, and then you have like the content, and we have an image section. And because they said for them references are very important, you then have the opportunity to have references to different things and also have categories which will then select uh, images. And then you have also the possibility to like uh, select project based on on the categories and then also to have like uh, detailed images um, of of those of those projects. And as as you saw already before, there's like mostly a responsive version. So Samuel, please. So the next uh, project is, uh, is Trans Magazine. Um, it is an uh, architecture mag magazine. Uh, Trans is a specialist magazine for the, from the architecture department of uh, the ETH Zurich and has been managed by an independent student editing department <coughs> since 1997. Uh, the magazine discusses current topics in the field of architecture and urban planning and the tents are between society, politics, philosophy and art. It is not just aimed at the architecture students but also architect, architects and people from all over the world interested in architecture. Trans is therefore considered a platform for interdisciplinary discourses. So the, the magazine was received, uh, released sorry, in 2009 and has since been published semi-annually under a new design. Uh, they publish uh, articles pertaining to one main topic from well-known and lesser-known authors from all over the world in uh, English and German. <coughs> So um, just a few spreads with uh, with, a, with the cover. So that's uh, number 26, number 18, number 24. Um, as I said before, we 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 have to deal with with different authors and um, and every changing changing situation situation because there are. Um, a lot of students, and uh, it's not so easy to work with them. It's, uh, sometimes it's a chaos, sometimes it's, it works better, but um, at the end uh, we are behind them and work with them and work with them um, at, at the layout and print it almost. So that was the first one. Uh, after the, the redesign we did. So the next website for uh, Mara Tücht. Uh, she's a curator. Oh, she's a curator from Zurich, and the idea behind this is to have a lexical alignment because uh, her father was a very, no, very well-known artist in Switzerland with the name Andreas Tücht. So we started from A, then going to like Z, which is like a, both their last name. 
So uh, what you can have here is have different categories like most times if you are a purist you can say I don't want to have any images, just want to have text and you can then have uh, detailed information from the left side which uh, allows you then to navigate through projects and also to have um, cross-references to um, other projects. So, some of the next publication, please. Um, it's called Mind the Gap. Um, probably the thickest book we produced. Um, it's around about 1,248 pages. Like a brick stone, as you can see, on the ground. Uh, this uh, book was published by Edition Fink, also a um, uh, publisher based in Zurich for artist books and catalogs. Um, most Oh, the, the whole book is, is printed in black and white, there are some inserts um, between the pages and the publication um, shines a spotlight on the rich arch archival material that has collected over the years and there are some handwritten notes, exhibition plans, invitation cards, photographies uh, of the works of art and copies of, uh, sorry, <laughs> some different materials they publish because that um, the Kunsthof is uh, an, art way, an art space between two houses in Zurich and they did a lot of exhibitions and each uh, exhibition finds a place in the publication with all the material they produced um, besides the exhibition like uh, invitation cards and so on So I think it goes a bit uh, too long, <laughs> because it's too thick. Let's go to the details. And it's the, the cover of the publication. Um, there are also a, a lexica um, about the art space. Just um, some details an entry page for, for um, one exhibition, so materials. It was very difficult to, to scan the book or to choose um, some good spreads. It's printed on a very thin uh, paper, on a grey paper. And we have we had also a website for this publication. Well, we, we did a, a, a website for this publication. So, and what that is, is actually an extension for all the digital and audio, so the videos and the audio files and then it's also in the same uh, design as the book and uh, it allows you to navigate through the different years and then look at the movie which will not work now because it's on Vimeo and we don't have internet but <laughs> okay I guess and um, that's uh, you into the future because um, on Wednesday we will print uh, this publication. It looks like it's finished, but it's not. Uh, we're still working on it, and we have to to send uh, the last spreads to them. And um, it's the it's the next issue of a typical plan, the, the first um, publication I presented. It's called Space of Production. Um, it's all about uh, production halls and all the stuff. They 
we had also a lot of uh, different kind of material, some historic stuff and so on. And we will print it on, on Wednesday after, I don't know, eight months of work. It's um, Publico by Publico Mono by Commercial. You, I think you can't see it. <laughs> it's not sharp enough. Yes, and uh, that's the last project we'll present to you. It's, uh, it's as before a website. It's it's for Christian Carrot. It is a fam uh, famous architect from Switzerland. Uh, so the movies will also not work. Cannot zoom out anymore, but usually you would see more things. So the difficult stuff is that he wanted to show things that he usually doesn't want to show. So there was a wide variety of material. And what we did actually is have that for navigation, so you can navigate by random, you can order it by media type, you can order it by project, so everything then comes together and you can also order it chronologically and what it allows you is to have additional images also of the renderings and for example if there is like a pub, uh, publication you can then go into it and screw, flip through a few pages. So. Yes, that's it, I guess, for the projects. Samuel, please. <laughs> and uh, that's the, the, the third part, uh, we thank, of course, Kayani for inviting us, and of course the whole Cerebro Nabora Type Conference team. Thank you very much. <laughs>